Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. Today we are working on Module 3, Lesson 21. This time we are going to be solving division problems using the area model. And I should say in advance that my class is not doing this lesson, so my apologies if I get a little out of step with anything that you've been doing in your class. Let's take a look at a couple of the problems here in Lesson number 21. Number 2. Solve 79 divided by 3 using an area model. Use long division and the distributive property to record your work. Well, we've got a couple of things that we need to look at here if we're going to use an area model. right? One of the things that we're going to want to do, after we pick a pencil out, is that we're going to want to go ahead and make a rectangle with a height of 3. And then we're going to ask ourselves some questions. For starters, how many tens... Would we, could we multiply 3 by and still fit into 7 tens right here? So let's see, if we, multi, if we had 1 ten here, up here, up top, 1 ten times 3, that would give us 30 tens. Well, I think we can do more than that, right? How about 2 tens? If we had 2 tens along here times 3, that would give us 6 tens, and that would still fit inside of 79. Would 3 tens work? Well, 3 tens up here times 3 would be 90 and that would not fit in. So I think we have our answer there, actually. We have two tens that would fit up at the top. And if we did a rectangle that was two tens times three, that would give us six tens, or 60. And now we have to decide what is left. So we started with 79. We have now used up 60 of the 79. That leaves us with 19. So how many ones could we multiply times three to get a number under 19. So we could just skip count by threes. Let's see, uh, 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 3 is 12, 5 times 3 is 15, 6 times 3 is 18, and that looks like that's as far as we can go, because if we go 7 times 3, that would be 21, and we only have 19 left. So let's say 6 1s over here times 3 is 18. So that's, now we've got 60 used up, and we've got 18 more used up, so that's 78. So how many do we have left over to get to 79? Well, we have one last little one, right? A last little one. So if, if we could express that another way, we would say that this is 60 divided by 3, or 20, and this is 18 divided by 3, or 6. And if we add those two together, we would get 26, and then we have a little remainder here at the end. So we have a quotient of 26 and a remainder of 1. Let's take a look at that in long division and see if we come up with the same answer. So let's see, long division, we would say that the whole is 79, and we're divided by 3. And let's see, how many times can we fit 3, how many tens can we multiply by 3 and still fit under 7? That would be 2 tens, 2 tens. That means that we would be using up six tens. Two tens times three is six tens. We would subtract here. We would end up with one ten. We could, that's no longer divisible by three, but we can bring down our ones, and now we have 19 ones. How many times can we fit three into 19 ones? Well, we can fit them in six times. Six times three is 18. 19 minus 18 is one, and we have the exact same answer. We have our quotient up here, and we have our remainder down here. And that, has, that gives us the ability to confirm the answer that we did with the area model, where we had a quotient of 26 and a remainder of 1. Excellent. Well, let's take a look at a similar problem. We are going to solve the following problems using the area model, support the area model with long division or the distributive property. Okay, well, we have a similar problem, 73 divided by 3. So again, we're going to make our rectangle, and our rectangle is going to go on for some ways, but it's going to be exactly 3 tall. And again, we're trying to see how many tens multiplied by 3 would fit into 70 tens, or some sorry, 70 or 7 tens. And again, I think we're going to say that 2 tens times 3 would give us 6 tens, or 60. That would give us quite a bit of this. And again, we have a little bit left over. Let's see, if we had 73 to start with, and we've used up 60 of that, that means we have 13 left. What, no, no, what number of 1s times 3 can fit into 13? Let's see, 3, 6, 9, 12, that's 4 1s. 4 1s times 3 would be 12. 60 plus 12 is 72, but we actually had 73, so we need one more little chunk off the corner. 
and we can show you what we're doing here. We can say that 60 divided by 3 is the same as 2 tens or 20, and we are going to add on the other part of this area model, which is 12 divided by 3 or 4, which is 24, the quotient of 24, and a remainder of, remember we had that little bit of a remainder over here, a remainder of 1. Let's try that again with long division to see if we have the same answer. So that's uh, our, we've got our brace here, and we've got 73 divided by 3. How many tens times 3 can we fit into 7? Well, we can fit 2 tens in. 2 tens times 3 is 6 tens. So now we've used up 6 of the 7 tens, leaving 1. Bring down our 1s. How many times can we fit 3 into 13 ones? Well, we can fit 4. Everybody would get 4 ones. 4 times 3 is 12. We would use up 12 of the 13, and we have the very same thing. We have a quotient of 24 and a remainder of 1. And that's the long division, uh, the long division way. You'll note here that we are using the dis when we use the area model over here on the left hand side, we end up uh, using the distributive property of division, which is to say we break up each of the pieces of 73, 60, 12, and 1, and we divide them separately. So instead of taking 73 divided by 3, we can take 60 divided by 3 plus 12 divided by 3, and actually plus the 1 divided by 3, which is our remainder over here. So we're using the distributive property here when we use the area model. And when we use long division, uh, the standard algorithm, we can uh, confirm the, our answer. We can confirm that our quotient and our remainder are accurate, um, as well as practice our ability to do the standard algorithm, already knowing that we have a pretty good idea what those answers are. So thank you so much for watching another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. We'll see you next time.